Ladies and gentlemen, my greetings are sent to you from wherever you are. So today we're gonna be doing chemical test. We're gonna start first by mashing our sample, and then from there we're gonna start doing the test. We're gonna do the analysis of the test, and then we're gonna learn some stuff new. Thank you so much, and hope that you're gonna enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share if you like. Don't forget to like. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Aujourd'hui on va faire des tests chimiques en fixant à déterminer les éléments chimiques que comporte notre épouse. On va commencer tout d'abord par préparer notre épouse et puis procéder par le test. Vous allez et nous espérons bien et surtout n'oubliez pas de vous abonner si vous n'avez pas encore fait. Alors, c'est à vous et voilà. to be uh, clean and square so it's clean both sides all right so i can do hardness on it okay i can even do spark on it as long as uh, i know that my sample will be flat when it's on uh it's positioned on the machine so yeah come on it's a spectrometer machine okay so this machine here uh, works based on the on optical emission the optical emission here is sent through the sample via electrical energy so that electrical energy it transforms into spark okay so that spark that spark there is what you see there is what you see there so that's the spark so what it does is it tries to it tries to what it does is it tries to to burn the sample that we're testing alright and then the atom the ions that are coming out from there gives a wave length which is in return determined by that machine here okay with everything inside and then determines the percentage of elements inside of our sample that we are sparking right now. Alright, so I'm about to <coughs> clear sample here. I'm going to take a clear sample here. Then I'm going to go with that one. So it determines the element that the sample is having. Whether carbon, whether it's silicon, whether it's manganese, phosphorus, uh, magnesium, nickel, aluminium, everything, copper. So what I'm going to do is after sparking this one, I'm going to show off that I'll be doing. So, I'm going to show you how this pass looks like. This is how this pass looks like after it has, it has been sent on the spark, on, on the sample, sorry. Alright, so as I said, it emits a radiation back based on the wavelength of the radiation. Then, this machine has the ability to determine which element is which and how much percentage it has. Right. There we go. So, this is, this, these are the spots that I did. One, two, three spots. And then I'm going to get the average of the three. Then I will know how much 
I have in terms of all the elements that this metal has test. So a chemical test, you need to determine the element that contains a sample, right? So remember, knowing the element that contains a sample, you can know how hot the material might be. You can know what you can use it for, remember? So it's like when you have to use stainless steel. We know stainless steel can use it with the, the least high percentage of, uh, of uh, a high chance of corrosion. But since it's stainless steel, it's uh, well, uh, it contains uh, chromium, it contains a uh, high percentage of nickel, which can work against corrosion, right? So this is how it is. Let me show you something. Uh, please come closer. You see what you see there? This is a typical result of uh, chemical analysis, okay? So as you can see, this was sparked okay after that we got the results that uh, that you see there okay so this is actually the result of carbon that this uh, material that was sparked uh, is containing this is the result of uh, silicon that the material that was sparked is containing so that's what you see there is the average so it was sparked three times in order to get a consistent average and see how consistent the reading is you can see the day on manganese that was 0.82 percent manganese the first time the second time was 088 the third time it was 088 so you can see it's very consistent the same way they the same way with uh, uh, molybden the same way with nickel so this is how the result was gotten okay so yeah and uh, I hope that you like it so or not. Okay, thank you so much.